on their stream. All right, so we are about to pull up to a place in Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. Um, it's a place that has an Airstream for sale. So we're pretty much just going to check it out. It's probably, based on the photos and what the guy has said so far, it might be like the better deal that we've seen so far because it's actually functioning currently. No big dents, which is always a plus for us too. Yeah, I'm kind of excited because it's like the first one that we've actually seen that is like not completely crap. But we'll let you know. What do you guys think? Should we get an Airstream or not? We're eating, talking about this whole Airstream purchase. Steph gets a little anxiety every time we talk about it. Heavy. Right. We're about to call. I can't watch. <laughs> She's freaking me out. <laughs> I'm normally good under pressure, so we'll see what happens. Steph? What? Three? I mean, are you, yeah? yeah? We do three for sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that sounds great to us, yeah. Hang on, Millie girl. <laughs> working on trying to get it between these two trees and it's literally like a few inches on that side and a few inches on that side just a, a bit of a tight squeeze guys we have a new member of the family he's right back there you can see his window anyways we got an airstream we got an airstream y'all so that's crazy so if you know nothing about the weather in arkansas now you do it rains here constantly, and unfortunately, we bought this beauty right in the middle of a two-week span of straight rain. Okay, so here is our before. Chad's already ripping stuff What's out up, in guys? there. So it's the two twin bed configuration, but we're gonna change this to be like a living room and then a desk over here. And our mattress and like bed, we're gonna put up here in the yep. front where this little sitting area is right now. So the kitchen is very retro since it's a 1977. It's got the orange counters. All this stuff works though still, so that's why this was such a bargain for us because we don't have to replace every single thing in here. Yeah. Over here, there's a little RV fridge. Carpet's coming up. <gasps> Carpet freeze. is up. <laughs> up. Carpet is done, y'all. <laughs> Goodbye, Shag. I think I should just take this to a power wash. No, power wash. <gasps> oh my god! Look how good it looks! <laughs> Look at it! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> what do you really think of it? Because you're the one that's going to be living in it for a month. I don't know, Dad. S sounds kind of scary. Day one on our Airstream renovation journey. So today we are doing... We're going to power wash the outside. So this is the last time you'll see it looking this dirty. Yep. Uh, and then we're going to rip out a bunch of stuff on the inside to just like start getting down to the bones of what it is we're working with. So. Yep, so we had the tarp on there because it's been raining the past three or four days. Like constant downpour, so we haven't gotten to start yet. Uh, until today, I'll show you guys everything from the inside to the outside. And uh, time to power wash. Just an update. We finished one little panel and look at how much better it already looks. Look at that, looks white. What is up guys? So the first thing that we've decided to take out is this front section we're gonna put our bed. So here we go. So I got this mask on just in case, you never know. Just tore up this over there. There's the shag carpet. And now we're about to tear that up. But we are stopping for a mid-renovation drink. Look, you can stand up here. Cheers. 
So we're almost done for the day. Got the whole front section taken off, the whole left side power washed, and we're having a drink. Cheers. Cheers. I just keep doing <laughs> dance moves. I don't know why. <laughs> dance moves. Ooh, ooh. Your... And here's the front, completely gutted out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so just to show you guys, just to be honest, the only sort of water damage that we had was right here. And I poked a little hole. It doesn't seem like it's too serious. I think we're just going to have to replace the subfloor, which is not a big deal. We were already thinking about it. So day one is done. We have officially finished what we wanted to finish. We ripped out the front quarter of the inside. That's where all this That's came where all from. of this came from, which we'll show came you. Down. So yeah, 1977 Airstream Argosy renovation day one. Day two. Day two. So we are back here again today. Uh, we have a little bit of a break before the rain's supposed to start later this afternoon. And now today, what are we gonna do? And so for today, we are going to just kind of gut the living room space and just get that cleared out. We've already cleared out the uh, front space where the bedroom is going to be. It's yeah. all over here. Here day goes two. day two. Woo. This is the front area that's still empty from earlier yesterday. And now we're getting rid of this stuff back here because it's gonna turn into like a little living room area instead of where the bed is. So it's looking good. All right guys, so while Chad is ripping stuff out, I'm working on cleaning the walls. So look at, the magic of bleach and a magic eraser magic literally takes all this mildew right off so we have like before and then after looks so much better and actually white cabinets might come crashing down at any moment. Success! What is up guys? Day two is complete. It's in the books. We have a ton of trash right here. Lots of trash. So, just give you an update on what we did today. We completely cleaned the front right side of the Airstream, stepped in that, and it looks incredible. And then I ripped out the whole entire middle section, or I guess it'd be back section of the Airstream. Where the bedroom is. Yeah, where our living room is going to be. So, hope you guys enjoyed day one and day two of our Airstream renovation process. I'm excited for what's to come. And definitely click subscribe and uh, give us a like if you enjoy. Alright, what's in there? They left us with this mysterious Box. chest in the back of the Argosy. And there's an American <laughs> flag, a koozie, some toilet paper. Some toilet paper. The three essentials of RVing, of I feel camping, like. Yeah. The some duct tape and we'll be good to go. I know.